Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 46 of our course and in this lecture we will understand one important difference between two methods. One method is interrupt programming and another method is polling. So let's explore what are these two terms. So to understand the difference between the polling and interrupt, uh, these two terms are related to uh, multiple devices serving when microcontroller is serving various devices. So let's say we have a microcontroller and that is serving A, B, and C. They are th three different devices and they are being served by this microcontroller, right? So uh, polling method is something in which microcontroller will actually monitor each device status and will, uh, will take decision whether this device need, uh, needs its service or not, right? So microcontroller will go on device B and check if it needs uh, its service or not, right? If it, it doesn't require, then a microcontroller will go to A and microcontroller will check status of A, whether it requires services or not, and it will come back and then it will go to uh, device C. So this is called polling method. And meanwhile, during this uh, uh, polling procedure, if any of these devices, for example, A required uh, a services microcontroller uh, will neglect other two devices, B and C will not be observed by microcontroller and microcontroller will only be working on uh, device A, right? So he will be busy with device A and device B and device C will be uh, kind of ignored by him, right? So uh, when it will serve the device A, it will come back here and this is what going on uh, in polling method. But interrupt method is totally different. In interrupt method, microcontroller is already working on something which you can call that that main program or main task by microcontroller, right? So he is busy with that with that specific task. So main task is going on uh, in the domain of microcontroller, right? So what is happening? Microcontroller is actually doing some work, right? And if any of these devices needs uh, microcontroller's attention, what they will do, they will send an interrupt to microcontroller. For example, device B is sending an interrupt to microcontroller. So what it will do, microcontroller will leave the main task. So what is going to happen? He was busy in this task, right? So for the time movement, uh, this task will be canceled out, right? Or it won't work for uh, time duration, for certain time duration. What it will do, it will start providing services to interrupt uh, to device B because device B has interrupted it from its main program. So he will serve it. And once this device is served, then this connection will actually uh, get uh, disturbed uh, or get removed, right? So what is going on when this device B is actually being served, right? So what is happening? Uh, there is a separate code which is called interrupt service routine, right? ISR or interrupt service routine. So what is going to happen? Microcontroller will actually uh, will be switching to that service routine and perform that task. So microcontroller will be busy in doing that task, right? So now microcontroller is working on that ISR. Once that interrupt service routine finished, that means device B has been served. So device B connection will get uh, dismantled and microcontroller will actually come back to its main code, which was uh, earlier going on. So now microcontroller will be performing this task. So again, microcontroller is performing on main task. And whenever another device needs, so they will send an interrupt signal or interrupted signal to microcontroller. So microcontroller will again provide uh, a specific interrupt service routine to that specific device. And that is the that is the difference or the key difference between uh, polling method and interrupt uh, method, right? If you have been following my lecture series of this course, uh, we have been using this instruction very frequently. For example, uh, bit test file, skip if set, uh, let's say interrupt control, comma, timer zero, IF, right? And uh, we were actually jumping to branch to ABC and then ABC level was defined over here just above this instruction. So what was happening, we were continuously monitoring the status of timer zero IF bit or any other bit, for example, transmitter IF 
receive IEF, those flags were con continuously being monitored. Uh, that method is called polling method. But in trap method that we haven't discussed yet, so in coming lectures, we will be observing what is uh, in trap method in assembly language programming, especially from PIC 18 point of view. But these two terms are quite general and they are applicable to every microcontroller almost. So uh, this video tutorial only speaks about the general difference between polling and interrupt method. Okay, that's it from this lecture. If you have any queries and questions, you can post them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.